really, really fun. Uh, it was interesting. I was in my element. I, I like I like live music, um, and so music is the base of where my music comes from. So it was really nice to do that. Yeah. Wow. Since then, I left. I went to study. Um, then I just got back. I just graduated, so I just got back. So now I'm a lawyer, and. Um, yeah, that's what I've been up to and now like getting my footing back into the music industry because music is also one of my passions so I'm really really looking forward to um, getting to explore that avenue, so yeah. To be honest, right now I can't say I know. If I say I know, I'd be lying. Uh, but like, um, it really really helps. I think just the intellectual capability really helps to be really really cautious about certain things which have to do with the industry. And seeing how the Kenyan music industry is definitely still developing. So um, I think anyone with a law degree um, and who has like intellectual eye for detail and everything, it would really really come in use. Um, as of now, whether I'll merge and fall into the corporate world or whether I'll fall into music, I really don't know to be honest. Yeah, I'm waiting to see what life has to offer. But I know people who are doing both so exactly. it's not rocket science definitely should be possible yeah um the industry has definitely definitely changed a lot uh before i left uh i took my break um the industry a lot of people are not recognizing uh, Kenyan artists even like when I was away from home um, when people when I'd always like post up pictures of people whose music who I listen to like Q or Della or like even Saudi Soul like a lot of people only probably know uh, Saudi Soul but from a distance yeah from a distance like if you say oh this is a Kenyan female musician oh you guys have female musicians can sing like so out there it's really really in the diaspora like it's really really hard um, to like it wasn't that all. Then slowly, slowly, as it digressed, because my degree was three years, as it um time proceeded, like, like slowly, um, we're getting somewhere. But really, it's a bit of just out soul now. Like what you hear out there in terms of who is like you know targeting the market in terms of industry. So I think it's grown, but I still think it has a long way to go in terms of just being openness and being um open-minded. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I just released my new single. It's called Lose Myself. So you can find it on YouTube. You can find it on Dundo. Download it on Dundo. It's on many different avenues. So feel free to check it out. Yeah, and um, I'm definitely working on a bunch of new projects, which um, it's 2017. So I'm definitely excited to share that. Yeah, the right time. Yeah, okay. Um, what I'd like to say is uh, for a lot of young people, because that's what I get asked a lot, like how do you do it? And um, it's not, to be honest, what I, what I normally say is that 24 hours is so much. How you break it down is dependent on you. And I think if you're really, really focused on what you want to do. I studied law and I was recording, um, I'd say about 70% of my upcoming album while in my final year of law school. So I'd go to class from nine to five, and then I'd go to studio after that and go to bed and sleep for like three hours and still be in class in the same one and still pass my exams. So, um, and people would be like, oh my God, how do you do it? And I was just like, I think it depends on the passion and the drive. If you really love something and if you really want to do it, there is, t there is so much time. <laughs> so like, I, I don't think they should always have that excuse and use whatever avenues you have. Like, thank God for technology these days. By the time I left, you guys weren't so much about social media and all these things and whatnot. But by the time I've come back, like all these avenues are open and a lot of people, I know a lot of artists who feel down because of money and budgets because it's really expensive. So um, right now there's so many avenues, just do what you can, put it out there. The right person will have a listen and as long as you have good music, you definitely will have a following. Yeah.